Merry meet and welcome to Kitchen Witch Table Talks. My name is Leandra Witchwood and this is part two of the series, little mini series I started. The first part talked toward um, new beginners and those looking for groups and looking for educators to help them advance on their path. In this section, I'd like to address the leaders of our community and what we need to caution ourselves against and maybe what we need to stand up for on our journeys. I am a leader because I've been drawn to it. I've been asked to lead by the powers that be. And each time I have tried to <laughs> distance myself from leading, I am pulled back to it. And this is a key indicator to most leaders that I've talked to. You know, we try to take a sabbatical <laughs> and we get knocked right back into leadership. And there's a reason for that. Our communities need solid leaders. They need well-educated, well-experienced leaders. And the reason I lead our community is because I see that need. I want to help dispel the myths, the misconceptions, and the propaganda that is spread about our paths, about our religious ex explorations and uh, spiritual experiences. However, this job becomes increasingly difficult when there are people out there posing as leaders who should not be in the position of leader. Now I know I'll probably get some pretty scathing messages, emails, comments on this video, you name it, from people who completely disagree and probably are insulted by what I have to say. But just keep in mind, when you lash out at me because you don't like what I say, because what I say may have cut a little deep, it's very telling about your role as a leader or your ability as a leader and why you're a leader. So I will keep that in mind when you decide to lash out at me in anger. <laughs> so the reason I lead in this community, the reason I have the Leandra Witchwood Foundation and the Magic Kitchen is because I want to help our communities gain respect in the greater stance of community. I want us to be looked at as valuable members of this community. And that means I have to walk my talk. That means I have to do what I say I'm going to do. I have to follow through and I have to conduct myself in an ethical and moral fashion. Okay. That's what it means to be a leader. It means doing the things that nobody else is willing to do and teaching others how to do that the same. And what qualifies you as a leader is something I think our communities have kind of become too lackadaisical on. We've just accepted that anyone and everyone can be a high priestess or a high priest and, or an elder. And that simply isn't true because we are not all cut from the same fabric. And to be a leader, you have to be cut from a very specific type of fabric, metaphorically speaking, of course, because leadership is hard. Leadership requires sacrifice. And leadership requires a certain degree of selflessness. And within our communities, we have come accustomed to people who read a couple of books and call themselves HP. And that simply doesn't work. Because if you don't know how to lead people, if you've never led anybody in the past, you are not qualified to be a high priest or a high priestess. If you have not gone through a degree system, a hierarchy system where you have learned, where you have been educated and guided by someone who has many more years of experience and knowledge than you do yourself at this current point in your path, you are not qualified to lead others. And the reason I say this is because when we go into leadership for the wrong reasons without all of our armor without all of our, you know, guns blazing <laughs> or with the guns blazing without, you know, having proper precautions set. We set ourselves up for a complete disaster. We set ourselves up for, for critical scrutiny 
scrutiny by those who don't have any right to scrutinize us, but they will. If we do not have our own ethical and moral standards, we set ourselves up for disaster. And we set ourselves up to be critiqued by the greater communities in a very negative way. The propaganda that they spread, the negative associations that they think are part of our paths become very evident at that point. So it's incredibly important to have all your T's crossed, your I's dotted, and you know, have your, your mind in the right spot. And I notice that in our communities, we have leaders who are in it for the wrong reasons. They're in it for self, selfish reasons. And this is something as leaders of the community, we should stand up very vocally against. We should be very adamant about recognizing the leaders who do not belong in a leadership role. Because, and we, we, sh we should be encouraging people to go about the right chains of command, I guess. It's not the right word, so it's not the right phrase to explain it. But there are certain things you need to develop within yourself. There are certain things you need to do within your own path in order to lead others. And there's a lot of misconduct that comes with not having a proper ethical and moral code as a leader with not being authentic on this path with you know there's a lot of misconduct that happens when you become a leader for the wrong reasons you know whether it be for involve sexual activity drugs alcohol manipulation if you are in a leadership role to gain these things or to use these things to your advantage you are not a leader you're a predator and one thing this path needs a lot less of are predators. And I see it in my own community. It's scary because we have new people. We even have underaged seekers coming to groups where these predators are present and they're getting used. They're being manipulated and they're walking away with these horrible experiences that could very much be avoided if they had qualified moral and ethical teachers at their disposal. These kinds of events need to stop. And leaders who think that they can use sex, drugs, alcohol, manipulation to lead others, they, they don't have it right. They're not true spiritual leaders. They're not true religious leaders. They're not true to this path. They're not being authentic because their goal is not leading those towards advancement. They're just using people. And that's a big concern. And as a, the pagan community as a whole, we should all be incredibly outraged by this. We should be incredibly disturbed by this. Because guess what? When the media gets a hold of stuff like this, they blow it out of proportion, which means the decades of work people have done, qualified leaders have done like Starhawk and Selena Fox, the decades of work that they do and continue to do and have done gets flushed down the toilet. It's a disrespect to our path to treat it in such a manner. Now, and that's not to say that some of these things don't have place in the path you follow. In the right context, yes, but not as a tool of manipulation or control. And if that's why you were a leader, you need to stop. You need to think about why you're doing this and what harm you're causing yourself and others. As a leader, we are the solid foundation for those who need us. We are the solid foundation for those to stand upon feel validated against, to feel valued within. And if we cannot summon that, if we cannot exude that, that support for the community, then we are in the wrong position. So think about it. When you want to be a leader, you have that burning desire to be a leader. Take the steps. Think about the steps you need to take in order to become the leader you wish to be. Void of manipulation, void of control, 
void of personal preservation or satisfaction. Be a leader for the right reasons. Guide those who need you. Guide those who need to find the answers and take their path beyond the cusp of beginner and intermediate and take it beyond advancement. Be the leader this community needs. Be the leader this community is desperate to connect with. So I know this was kind of a heavy video. <laughs> My videos are not this heavy usually. I, I'm very jovial, but there are certain things that we must take very seriously and leadership is one of those. And when we use the wrong tactics as leaders, we undermine everything that is valuable in this community. So until next time, I wish you bright blessings. Thank you for watching.